Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we are with a new content. It's all about ICD 10 CM guidelines 2025 chapter 9 disease of circulatory system code series I00 hyphen I99. So in this chapter mainly we will be dealing about all the conditions which we will be coding under this circulatory system. So before entering into the video, if you are watching my channel for the first time, please do subscribe and share it with your friends also. For the viewers who are watching me for the first time, let me introduce myself. I am Danya. I am a CPC certified trainer, mainly training candidates for CPC certification as well as we do provide basic medical coding training also. So if you are looking for training, you can register with us and get trained. Okay. And we do placement assistance also. And in this video, we will be completely discussing about all the guidelines which is related to this circulatory system like uh, hypertension, hypertension related conditions and uh, myocardial infraction codes, everything will be discussed. And uh, one more thing like combination codes, mainly we will be seeing in this chapter only. Uh, so in this PPT, I have added each and every point in detail. So uh, if you are practicing for your CPC exam or if you are preparing for your interview, this video will be really helpful for you. So please don't skip the video in between. Watch the video continuously so that you will have a proper knowledge regarding this ICD-10 CM guidelines. So by starting this video, like when the PPT starts, take a note and write down all the guidelines. And if you have any doubts or uh, any confusions, you can just put it as a comment or you can mail me or you can WhatsApp me also. I'll add my number here so that you can contact me. So that's all about and um, watch the video continuously. Okay. So hereby I'm ending this uh, video presentation. Now we'll enter into the PPT. Before that, I'll add an card also in that uh, you will have a playlist which contains all the ICD-10 CM guidelines chapter wise. So you can have a view on that uh, uh, previous chapter guidelines. Okay. So that's all about uh, this video. We'll enter into the PPT. Thank you. So chapter 9 disease of circulatory system I00 hyphen I99. In this chapter mainly we will be dealing about all the conditions which is coming under circulatory system so all the combination codes everything hypertension related condition myocardial infraction all the conditions will be discussed in detail and how the guidelines are implemented everything will be discussed here so first we will see hypertension hypertension also called as high blood pressure is a common and non-dangerous condition that can damage the blood vessel and ultimately lead to numerous or other conditions including stroke heart disease renal disease and vision problems mainly if when we take this hypertension no we have totally nine codes for primary hypertension and five codes for secondary hypertension so blood pressure reading uh, normal is 120 by 80 and risk is considered as 120 to 139 and 80 to 89 for diastolic high blood pressure is when it is more systolic should be more than 140 and diastolic should be more than 90 so these are the blood pressure reading next the classification presumes a casual relationship between hypertension and heart involvement and hypertension and kidney involvement as the two conditions are linked by the term within the alphabetical index these conditions can be coded as a related even in the absence of provided documentation explicitly linking them unless the documentation clearly states the conditions are unrelated so here hypertension and heart disease when it is related we will be coding in this way hypertension with the heart disease for hypertension with the heart disease we will be giving a combination code that is i11 as a primary code and second code should be for heart failure if heart failure is present that is i11 point dash no the dash indicates with the heart failure and without heart failure if it is with the heart failure you have to give second code as the type of heart failure and when it is hypertension with CKD, first code we will be giving a combination code that is I12 for hypertension CKD and second code will be given for CKD with the stage N18 point dash and third code if renal failure is present, third code you can code for renal failure otherwise not required. And third guideline is 
hypertension with heart disease and ckd so if all the three conditions are present for the patient first we will be giving a combination code that is i13 and second since a heart condition is present for the patient you have to check whether heart failure is present or not if heart failure is present second code for heart failure and third code for ckd with the stage and fourth code if renal failure is present Next, admission encounter for hypertensive cerebrovascular disease. For hypertensive cerebrovascular disease, first code will be given from I60 to I69 series, cerebrovascular condition and second code will be for hypertension code, I10 to I15. Next is uh, hypertensive retinopathy. When a patient is getting admitted in the hospital for hypertensive retinopathy, the first code should be given for hypertensive retinopathy that is H35.0 and second code should be coded for hypertension related condition that is I10 to I15 series. Chapter 9 is really a very easy topic. Next comes secondary hypertension. Secondary hypertension is a high blood pressure caused by another medical condition such as kidney disease or endocrine disorder. So when coding for secondary hypertension, you must code both hypertension and the underlying causes. First, we have to code for the underlying condition. Second, you have to code for the secondary hypertension that is I-15 series. Next, uh, secondary hypertension code I15.0, I15.1, I15.2, I15.8, I15.9. I15.0 is renovascular hypertension um, used when hypertension is uh, due to renal artery stenosis. I15.1, hypertension secondary to renal disorder. I15.2, hypertension secondary to endocrine disorder. I15.8, other secondary hypertension. I15.9, uh, unspecified. So, hereby I have given an example. Secondary hypertension due to CKD. So, primary code we are coding for CKD and secondary code we are coding for hypertension uh, secondary to renal disorder. And second scenario, secondary hypertension due to Cushion syndrome. First, we are coding for the underlying condition that is Cushion syndrome and secondary code is for secondary hypertension due to endocrine disorder. Next comes hypertension transient. Hypertension transient is otherwise called as elevated blood pressure. That is, uh, this is considered to be the patient should not have a diagnosis of hypertension. For a short period of time, if the blood pressure is high, then it is considered as hypertension transient or elevated blood pressure. R03.0. Next, hypertension controlled and hypertension uncontrolled. Hypertension controlled means what? Hypertension is controlled by the treatment. For that, you have to check code from I10 to I15. And hypertension uncontrolled is hypertension not responding to the treatment. That is uncontrolled. In this case also, you have to check from I10 to I15 series. Next is hypertensive crisis. Hypertensive crisis is a severe increase in blood pressure that can lead to stroke, heart attack or other severe complication. It is divided into two categories that is hypertensive urgency and hypertensive emergency. So I-16 is the code series for that. I-16.0 is considered as hypertensive urgency that is elevation in blood pressure without argu uh, organ damage. Next comes pulmonary hypertension. Pulmonary hypertension is a type of high blood pressure that affects the arteries inside the lungs. Uh, this is classified into primary pulmonary hypertension and secondary pulmonary hypertension. Primary pulmonary uh, hypertension I27 series code will be given. So, specific codes for pulmonary hypertension, I27.0 is for primary pulmonary hypertension and I27.2 to I27.29 is for secondary pulmonary hypertension. You can read the code series and see like. Next comes hypertension resistant. Resistant hypertension is a condition where a patient's high blood pressure remains uncontrolled despite the use of three or more different type of antihypertensive medication which uh, is typically a diuretic. This means that even with aggressive treatment the blood pressure does not reach the target level. 
for hypertension resistant you have to code check the code series atherosclerotic coronary artery disease and angina atherosclerotic means plaque formation in the coronary artery so for this we have two different type of code i25.11 and i25.7 the difference is i25.11 is for atherosclerotic in native coronary artery with angina and i i25.7 is atherosclerotic in uh, bypass graft or transplanted heart next comes intraoperative and post procedural cerebrovascular accident uh, usually these are the sto strokes that occurs during or immediately after a surgical or medical procedure these events are critically documented and coded correctly because they are the complication associated with the procedure first we have to determine the type of cerebrovascular accident that is whether it is ischemic stroke or hemorrhagic stroke and sequencing of the code is like the primary diagnosis should be the code that identifies the intraoperative or post procedure procedural complication followed by additional code for the type of cva performed common intraoperative and postoperative procedures are i97.8182 i97.810 i97.811 you can read the explanation example a patient undergoes cardiac surgery and during the operation they suffer an ischemic stroke here intraoperative cerebrovascular infraction during or following cardiac surgery i97.81 is the first code and secondary code is given for the type of stroke acute myocardial infraction is commonly known as a heart attack which occurs when the blood flow to a part of the heart is blocked so the key point is whenever we are coding for uh, acute myocardial infraction we should know whether it is st elevated myocardial or non st elevated myocardial infraction st elevated myocardial infraction is a more severe type of heart attack where it is completely blocked and uh, non stmi it is partially blocked blocked determine the site of the infraction ami can occur in different region of the heart so whether we have to see the location whether it is anterior wall inferior wall lateral wall or posterior wall considering the timing because ami can occur within 4 weeks and an older old or healed ami more than 4 weeks old so common icd codes for st elevated is i21.0 till i21.3 and non st elevated is i21.4 i22.0 to i22.9 is for subsequent mi subsequent mi means what the mi which is occurring within 4 weeks after the first heart attack and i25.2 is given for old myocardial infraction that is the first heart attack which is completely healed example a patient is diagnosed with st elevated myocardial infraction stmi on the anterior wall for that we will be giving i21.0 that is st elevated myocardial infraction of the anterior wall next is subsequent myocardial infraction occurs when a patient experiences a second or additional heart attack within 4 weeks that is 28 days of the first one so first i22.0 till i22.9 is present uh, so we have to check the subsequent whether it is an anterior wall inferior wall or other site you have to check it very clearly example for this is a patient had a non st elevated myocardial infraction 3 weeks ago and was treated and discharged the patient is now admitted again with a st elevated myocardial infraction so first we will be coding for subsequent myocardial infraction i22.0 and second code should be for the previous heart attack that is i21.4 non st elevated myocardial infraction here we will not give uh, i25.2 because i25.2 should be assigned only if the first one is completely healed and no other treatment is given for that and uh, hereby i have given an example for i25.2 that is old myocardial infraction also you can read it and see so that's all about uh, chapter 9 guidelines if you have any doubts you can put it as a comment and thank you so much for watching uh, if you find it useful please please do share it with your friends and uh, please do subscribe my channel also thank you take care bye bye